Hello people, in this video, we want to look at this case study. Please pay attention here. A 10 year old child, small child guys, has fever, bone pain, fatigue, pallor is there. Le generalized lymphadenopathy is seen. So there is hemoglobin less, that is anemia is there. Our WBCs are more, platelets are reduced, bleeding time is prolonged, coagulation time is normal. What is your diagnosis? Write two points in favor of your diagnosis. How do you classify this condition? Differences between myeloblast and lymphoblast. Okay, this is not so easy. Look at the blood picture. Or what is this? Yes, blood picture. Looks like in blood picture there are too many lymphocytes. Correct? Too many lymphocytes are there. Or lymphoblasts, is it? Okay. So, what do you think it is? Take a minute and discuss and tell us. The answer is <clears throat> ALL, that is acute lymphoid leukemia. Why do you say it is lymphoid? Because you can see a lot of lymphoblasts, right? It's called acute lymphoblastic, sorry, lymphoblastic leukemia. So, you can see that there are a lot of lymphoblasts in the blood, right? So, it is <clears throat> acute lymphoblastic leukemia and it's a child. Because it's a child, all ALL is very common in children, right? What else you can see? See guys, this acute uh, lymphoblastic leukemia, basically, <clears throat> what else you can say? Precursor B and T cell leukemia, lymphoma or leukemia, if it has come to the blood, definitely it is. If it has come to the blood, then definitely it is leukemia. So just pay attention here, it is also called as Precursor B and T cell lympho, sorry, leukemia, leukemia, okay. So basically, this is a lymphoid malignancy originating from the precursor series of T or B cells. So this is a lymphoid, uh, it is coming from the lymphoid progenitor. It is most common form of cancer in children. It is the most common form of cancer in children under 4 years of age together constituting something, okay, some percentage there, leave that. B cell uh, is more, while T cell is less. Okay, B cell, usually B cell uh, will be more. Okay, usually what will you see in the blood picture? In the blood picture, what you will see, this is the blood picture. <clears throat> Peripheral blood generally shows anemia. So, that's why they have shown anemia. Huh? Thrombocytopenia. Penia means uh, less platelets. Yes, thrombocytes. What are thrombocytes? This only, right? Yeah, platelets. Then leukocytosis uh, or whatever can be there. Here they have shown leukocytosis. The DLC, that is the differential leukocyte, shows large number of circulating lymphoblasts. What are these? These are large number of circulating lymphoblasts. Okay, I am finding it so hard to write. But anyways, you remember these are lymphoblasts. Generally in excess of 20% having round 2 convoluted nuclei, high nucleocytoplasmic ratio, absence of cytoplasmic granularity. So high NC ratio will be there. Obviously if it is a malignancy, there will be high NC ratio. NC ratio is high, high NC ratio, absence of cytoplasmic granularity. It is important to distinguish AML from ALN. The morphologic features you should know. In AML, what will be there? Myeloblast will be there. Here, lymphoblasts are there, obviously, right? That's why you're calling it as a lymphoblast leukemia, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. So, we have to differentiate myeloblasts and lymphoblasts to understand this. We'll come to that. Now, guys, let's just look at a word, clinical features also. What will you see in clinical features in uh, ALL? Clinical features, most often it presents in children, yeah, that we already told you. And um, it may be initially lymphoma and suddenly it became lymph uh, leukemia. Okay. Now, extra nodal site involvement like lymphadenopathy will be present. See, lymphadenopathy, that is why they have mentioned here lymphadenopathy, hepatomegaly, splenomegaly, CNS infiltration, testicular enlargement, etc. can be there. Okay. So, lymphadenopathy, at least you pay attention here. Then, <clears throat> Precursor T cell, if it is B cell lymphadenopathy, they are saying T cell, since uh, these, what is this, thymus, 
So basically there will be a mediastinal mass because it is something to if it is T cell, the thymus will be involved. So they are saying there is the mediastinal mass will be there, pleural effusion etc. can be there. Okay, clinical features of bone marrow, anemia, same anemia again they are mentioning clinical features, bone marrow failure etc. Neutropenia, thrombocytopenia. That is not at all difficult to understand, right? Because thrombocytopenia you can see. What about neutropenia? Obviously, WBCs are more, but the neutrophils are less because this is lymphoid progenitor. No, lymphoid progenitor won't make neutrophils for you. So, obviously, neutropenia can be there. Lymphadenopathy, again, they are mentioning lymphadenopathy, guys, lymph nodes. Because this, this is all about lymphocytes, right? Correct? No, lymphoblastic leukemia, everything about lymphocytes. So, definitely lymphadenopathy, right? Hepatosplenomegaly, you just add all these megalies, megalies, hepatomegaly, splenomegaly, CNS involvement, etc. You can add. Okay. T cell leukemia is more aggressive. Remember, T cell leukemia is more aggressive. That's what mediastinal mass and all will be there. Okay. So, we already told you what will happen to the blood. Now, just let's uh, keep a word on the bone marrow picture also. Okay. So, bone marrow, how will it be? As we are discussing in this A, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, how the bone marrow will be. Bone marrow picture of acute lymphoblastic leukemia. The marrow will show malignant undifferentiated cells of precursor B or T cell origin. Okay. Megakaryocytes will be less. Okay. Because platelets will be less. Lot of you will have undifferentiated precursor cells. That is the immature cells will be there. What about cytochemistry? In cytochemistry you will see this uh, pass stain. Okay, pass stain will you can put, then you can put uh, acid phosphatase stain, then you can put myeloperoxidase will be negative, Sudan black negative, non-specific esterase also is negative. So what will be positive? This periodic acid shift and acid phosphatase will be positive. Guys, remember this. If you have if you have already seen our previous video, there you will know. You can see here the stains. You can see this periodic acid shift will be in lymphoid also it will be there. Correct? Lymphoid pass is for lymphoid and and this acid phosphatase is also seen in ALL. We have already seen this in the previous uh, video. So anyways we are mentioning again the stains that you will use will be pass stain and acid phosphatase which, for lymphoid. Okay. For AML, you can use myeloperoxidase, 1, 2, 4, 4, 2, 6, something. Sudan black and NSC that you can use for my AML. But for ALL, you can use pass and acid phosphatase. The other three will be negative in this case. So, we were looking at uh, acute uh, myelo uh, acute lymphoblastic leukemia in children. All, all as in children mostly, remember. In this also, they are saying Philadelphia positive. Philadelphia is not just a CML, is it? Even in ALL, they are saying Philadelphia chromosome. That is that T9 colon 22. This is even there in uh, ALL, is it? I never knew. Interesting. Okay. Then, what are the other questions they have asked? Differences between myeloblast and lymphoblast. Okay, let's look at that now. Just one more point here before that. Basically, this one, if it is this uh, ALL can be cured if it is at correct stage and the age is like 2 to uh, like it can be actually cured. Okay. But the thing is the remission rate is high. It kind of comes back. So, let us look at uh, the classification or sorry, the difference between myeloblast and lymphoblast. So, this myeloblast will be slightly large. They are saying one, one person is saying one, one thing. I am getting irritated. One person is saying uh, this, uh, both are same size. Anyways, this is myeloblast. It is la la slightly larger. This is slightly smaller. This is going to be a myeloid progenitor. It will give neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils and monocytes. Lymphoblast will give uh, lymphocytes, right? Now, uh, chromatin is fine meshwork. Here it is uh, clumped chromatin. Nuclear membrane is fine. Nuclear membrane is dense here. Dense, it's much dense. Dense, dense, dense. Then, nucleoli 2 to 5, they have shown here. Nuclei are a few in number in this. That's all. That's all. That's all. In AML, you will see a lot of myeloblasts. In ALL, you will see a lot of lymphoblasts.
Guys, just notice here that um, our rods can be present in myeloblasts. Not all of them, but yeah, our rods can be present. Especially in AML, you will see our rods. In CML, you will not see. Okay. Now, going back to our case study, guys, which we have almost forgotten. How do you classify this ALL? Now, they are not leaving us classification also. They want classify this condition, please. Guys, um, <clears throat> so how do you classify this condition? We will come to it. See, uh, your, this is the condition. How did you decide? Because it is in a child, the blood picture shows lympho blasts. Then, what else are the decision factors? We saw that there is generalized lymph adenopathy. Right, there is generalized lymphadenopathy. Then anemia is there. Then WBC uh, platelets are less. All this you can say. Bleeding time is prolonged. That is why platelets are less, anyways. How do you classify? Now, coming to the classification of uh, ALL, ALL classification. You have L1, L2, L3. Very easy. It is ALL lymphoblastic. So, L1 is what? Childhood. This one is adult ALL. This is some Burkitt type. What the hell is that? This is on the morphological criteria. This is FAB classification based on more morphology then how is it childhood adult and all are morphology yeah. so basically in this one there will be small lymphocytes homogeneous here there are some heterogeneous lymphoblasts this one is homogeneous lymphoblasts again large what the hell then based on cytogenetics also they have a classification like as though it is not enough. Based on cytogenetics also there are classification like pre-B ALL, B cell ALL, T cell ALL. This is not difficult, B cell, T cell. Then you have some cyto, uh, uh, you have the markers okay like CD10 positive, so many are there. Okay, anyways, this is all uh, in classification. You can look at more information from the textbook. <clears throat> so, let us go back to the case study. So, let us read this question again and see if we have covered everything. 10 year old child presented with fever, bone pain, fatigue, pallor, lymphadenopathy, anemia, increased WBC, decreased platelet, bleeding time is prolonged. Diagnosis according to this blood picture is lymphoblastic <coughs> leukemia. Why do you say leukemia? Why do you say leukemia when the total WBC count is 80,000? I am not sure, you know, it should at least be greater than 1 lakh to call it leukemia, I feel. Anyways, then we saw the classification, right? Classification L1, L2, L3, childhood adult, some buckets type, some uh, homogeneous, heterogeneous, something is there. Cytogenetics, you have uh, pre B cell, B cell, T cell, that is all, okay? Then what and all you saw? Difference between myeloblast and lymphoblast. Myeloblast is slightly bigger. It has many nuclei, uh, meshwork chromatin or rods. Nuclear membrane is fine, but in lymphoblast, the nuclear membrane is dense, etc, etc, etc. See you in the next uh, case study. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.